Yes, you read that right. We are quitting boat life, and this wasn't an easy decision to come to. For the last five years, we have been living and traveling on our boat, the Dead Dolphin. We learned and grew so much sailing on our old 5K Craigslist boat. I don't know if you can tell by my face, but uh, probably the roughest sail I've ever had. We overcame every struggle together. We made it. Uh, we made it. That was one hell of a personal test. We transformed our boat from someone's damaged throwaway to a modern, capable sailing yacht. What was that? The whole thing just snapped right there. This adventure completely changed our lives in so many ways. We always go back and think, what if we didn't make that leap? What if we stayed working the jobs we hated? What would our lives look like? Well, we have come to that crossroad once again. You ready? You got thorns in your beard. I'm ready. All right, guys, here is our new adventure that we are taking on and I don't even know how to put it into words, how to explain what we're doing. Well, I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking and like what kind of lunatic gives up the perfect cruising lifestyle for an abandoned property in the middle of the jungle. And I'll tell you who, short answer, us, if that's all you need to know. Long answer is a little bit more complicated. This is something that be, kind of became a fever dream of mine during COVID. Um, obviously our boat before we built it up, you know, didn't have things like water or refrigeration. So we were very, you know, even though sailors are off grid, we were very, um, attached to the grid still. We needed ice every three or four days to purchase. We needed water from a facility. So when COVID happened, we were kind of locked out and we couldn't really get water. We couldn't really get food. And I realized how vulnerable, you know, we actually were and how, you know, not self-sustainable we were. You know, it put this little seed in my head though of trying to find something someday, a property that I could develop where I can get food, have my own place to stay, some place that has water and stuff like that. So that's kind of where the fever dream was born. And so I was driving through this awesome town and it reminded me of like Avatar and Fern Gully had a baby. And I said, man, it'd be great to, to live there someday and do a, do a farm, do like a house, do an off grade thing. Today is a day that I wanted to document in video. It's a very important, exciting day for us. We rented a car and we're driving to look at our very first property that we are looking to maybe purchase. Why are you interrupting me, Maps? This is the very first time that we're gonna go look in person. We looked a lot online and you just really can't get the feel of the places. We're super excited. There is waterfall-ish area. We don't know if this is gonna be it, but this is a new moment in our lives. How do you feel, Matt? I'm hyped about it. You know, this place came up for sale out here in BFE. It don't even seem like it's the right place to be. I don't think the map sent us to the right spot. But it's way out here in BFE because it's affordable. And, you know, we're looking at maybe starting a family in a couple years. You know, we're looking at it. I'm hyped. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to film this property and hopefully it could be our magical place. We put that dream on the back burner because we knew we still had a lot of sailing to do and we had just gotten out here to the islands and really- We just finished our boat inside. Yeah, we had some dreams that we had to do. You know, we just did the whole refit on the boat and we were like, let's go out and see what it's like to have, you know, a nice comfortable boat with actual bulkheads and an autopilot and an engine. And we were like, wow, let's go see what that's like. And we went through the Virgin Islands and 
you know, we were like, we had a blast doing it and we saw such beautiful things and like met some amazing people and, you know, but we still had this nagging dream in the back of my mind. And I was like, I can go further and I can keep doing what I'm doing, but I realized that I was giving advice to people that I wasn't taking. Um, this channel, we've always kind of said, if you have a voyage you want to go on or you have a dream that you want to do, if you have a fight that you want to go fight, you should definitely go do it no matter how crazy it seems, you know, how m little money you have and things like that, you know, don't, don't listen to everybody, you can do it. So basically we were kind of in that same trap though, because- We realized we were pulling the same thing that we were making we the tell same everybody excuses. about the boats. Yeah. We got a good job, everything's going okay for us. Maybe someday I'll get on the boat. That was what was happening to us. With the farm So yeah. we right then and there said, we're doing it. All right, right up front, there's a old looking building at the front right at the street what's in there that's perfect that's perfect for the chickens i don't know about that Oh my God, look at that giant iguana right there. That's what I'm saying, one just jumped down. That there. huge big boy. I wanna feed that big boy. All right guys, exciting news. It's not July, it's August 1st, 2022. We put our offer in for that land, the land that we showed you. We have gone back a couple times and we've droned it and we made our decision. We put our offer in and it was accepted. So today was our closing day and we officially are landowners. I own land now. So now I can tell people get off my land. If they piss me off, I can say, mom and dad, get off my land. Get off my land. Why is your mom and dad getting sent Get off, the off land? my land. Or like if the cops try to come to my house, be like, you ain't gonna come on this land, police is. I think they do come on the land anyways. Oh. Anyways, none of that matters. What matters is we're officially landowners and I feel like this is our been our little diary about buying the land and we don't know what's going to come. Obviously we're not planning on doing anything to the land because we're gonna go back sailing at this point, so. I guess you'll know at, in this video that we don't know. Does that make sense? They're going to know in that video that this is going to play that we don't know. They don't know that we don't know, I guess is what I just Anyways, heard. we just wanted to check in, let everyone know, and <laughs> yeah. we're thrilled. We're going to go out now and get margaritas and celebrate and yeah, just be a... thankful for our blessings. This, so next, I don't know. this next adventure that we're going to get to take together, but it was, it was just too good of a deal. I saw this land. It was cheap or cheapish i think it was kind of a steal and i loved it it's just such a f amazing place i i fell in love with it as soon as i saw it i could see maddie jr there playing with his gampy his paps you know i could see my mom and my niece in there and you know i think it's going to be a great place for that next chapter of our family and it's here in beautiful puerto rico where you're never more than 20 miles from the ocean so we get to keep everything intact we get to keep it all and get a little bit more so i'm excited you know we were stuck because we have a great job doing youtube sailing we built like such an awesome community of sailors that you know it's a really fun community we just had our first patreon meetup a month or two ago and we got to meet people face to face and all the cruisers other channels we've met throughout the throughout our travels people that work on boats my dog salchicha and laisa culebra nester like janice and russell just so many amazing people i've met on this journey that i was like oh if i if we stop sailing we're giving up all that we're giving up everything we built and worked so hard for over the last five years but then we had to sit back and say this is what we do this is what we advocate for if you have something you want to do you can't let the strings like you know once i'm retired i'll be ready to go once the kids are in college once you know, there's always a million reasons not to do it but the one number one reason to do it should be because you want to and i think drizzy drake said it best yolo <laughs> you only going around this bad boy one you only got one time. life and you don't know when it's going to end hopefully not in a really really long time i'm going to live forever but we decided to look around at the land and matt really fell in love with this property and this abandoned land someone obviously loved it a very long time ago and Ooh, it is beautiful happened? this land is amazing as you can hear down there, you can hear the waterfall. Here's the front view of the mountains. Wow, that 
it looks like you could sit in that waterfall. The reason I like it is because there's a creek that goes all the way around it and there, there's some elevation as well so someone can't build right next to you, you know. So that would be a, a good thing that I would like. You know, cool bamboo. Cool bamboo. Bro, there's turtles down here. Look, guys. Oh, man, they ran off. They're a hawk. A hawk. I love it because it has a river that runs on the side of a creek. They call it a river here. They call it a rio, but it's really more of a creek. It has some really pretty, very small waterfalls, but you can hear that water rushing. You know me. I couldn't get too far away from the water. Fat Matt the Water Rat was not going to be too far landlocked, but some really good opportunities, I think, for farming here because um, I'm not gonna do anything commercial. I'm just gonna be kind of trying to grow for me and trying to get some salads. I wanna grow every <laughs> ingredient to make a Big Mac. So I gotta grow, get the wheat, get the cow, get the, what, however we make mayonnaise, eggs, chickens. We're going on a big adventure. Matt has a lot of dreams and a lot of wants, a lot of hopes. So we might be getting Animals, I don't know. We're definitely getting chickens. That's really on there. We don't know. We might get a horse. We might get cows. We might get goats. Well, everything grows so good here. I'm even me. I'm confident I can get something to grow out here. You know, so if you guys know, you know, if any of my hardcore sailor dogs know about farming, please stick with me because I'm going to need a lot of help. We don't know anything. We're going to farming the same way we're farming and, you know, building a house. She's going to make me build a whole house, y'all, from scratch. We, we might attempt to build a house maybe you know, like a villa she robbed me pretty hard do you guys think we can pull it off i don't know she used to rob me pretty hard but she's seen all larry lambs you know doing the touch and finishing touches she said i think you can build a whole house and i said please look can we hire someone to build a house she said you're gonna build it boy you're gonna you're gonna be out here sweating in the jungle and i already been sweating in the jungle so we're gonna build the house do the farm hopefully get something that's worthwhile but we're not giving up on sailing completely our boat is still gonna be down there obviously we're gonna have hurricanes i have some plans for the boat that I don't really want to talk about yet, but I would love to invite people um, to maybe do some sailing with me once a month or once a quarter because, uh, you know, I love sailing and it's a way to use the boat. I may even give the boat to a captain, maybe let him do day charters. So I'm gonna make it on the low low for y'all. I'm not trying to beat anyone over a barrel and make a million dollars off of it, but I'd love to have someone using the boat because, you know, today when we were coming here to clear this land and I saw on the boat and I said, man, that's a good looking boat. That boat's too cool to just be sitting out here going away. So it's not gonna sit out there going. We still got hurricanes coming, so we still have that adventure too. So and we still want to sail. Yeah, so. I'd I'd love to sail. It'd be great to you know my ideal if I could dream my dream. I'd love to farm nine months a year and sail three months a year. That'd be really great for me if I could do it. Because you know we're getting married. We're getting married next year. Oh, I'm sweating on you. I'm so sorry. I'm filthy. That's <laughs> terrible. I, you that almost was, ripped my that ponytail. Was, that was vile what I just did. But you know we're gonna get married next spring. We're going to be having kids. And as much as I love the double D, the dead dolphin, I don't think it's right for, you know, a family. A family. I don't want, I'll be worried sick about Matty Jr. So I think him running around with some goats and running around with his dog. Let me know, drop in the comments, what kind of dog should I get? Cause you know, these swamp, these wild dogs out here. All these animals. I guys. need a big dog. You know, I need a big dog. I want one of them furry face cows. I want a Clydesdale horse. I a want it all. Clydesdale? Bro, I want the furry feet and the whole nine. So I want Matty Jr. to live and then be able to go sail, you know, Go see the beautiful things around here. And or this Kristen is Kristen Jr. Kristen Jr. too. Kristen Jr., you know, she gonna be a little handful. She probably gonna like sailing as much as her mama, and she gonna just take the boat and sail away with it. So tons of adventures. Get excited. Get as excited as I am because, you know, I know I got some haters on the channel that love to watch me fail. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of that coming on the plate. And then I know I got my road dogs that like to watch me soar like an eagle, you know? And then I know the guys that are just entertained watching me, you know successes and failures all together and Kristen just going I can't believe he just did that so let's see if I can make some big money mistakes <laughs> and we're we'll... going I don't care that you're sweating Thank we're you. going on a new adventure guys our lives are completely changing and I'm nervous I'm scared I'm excited but when you're scared and you're excited that's when your life really does change I think for the better you got to take the risks and we're going for it yeah, and if I get in shape from this land, I might come out of retirement. I might start throwing these things again, you know what I'm saying? Y'all anyway. let me know if I get my cardio back. Just kidding. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. I'm only fighting for air when I go underneath that waterfall down the stream. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. I can't wait for the videos to come. 
to show you this awesome place and to learn from you guys as we've been doing for the last five years and then to teach people as well. You know, there's people I know that know more than me, but I know there's people that know less than me too. So everybody can learn here and, you know, let's ride out together like we've been riding out. So if you've never seen us before, check back, watch some of our old videos. You'll understand where we're coming from and subscribe, comment down below. We got to figure out where we're going to live. So yeah, let, let that's us... a lot of work already. And this place grows in seconds. You cut down a piece of grass and it's back this high the next day. So we got a lot of work cut out for us and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for checking in on us. Give us a thumbs up on this video. Give this video a share and we'll see you next week. Bye.